Are you on the fence about trying out a custom ISO for gaming? Or are you actually running the fence for your favorite ISO willing to die? Or just maybe you're trying to make sense of it all. If any of these three sentences describe your current situation, this video just might be for you. Because in today's video, I'm comparing Windows X Lite, Kernel OS, and Revy OS. So sit down, strap in, Let's go. Alright guys, before we get into the video, if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. And then for my other subscribers, if you want to offer me some support, please, I've just added a join button, so you can click on that. And then first level, I actually have loyalty badges, some emojis, and I'm going to be releasing exclusive members only videos. And then the second tier is Discord support 24-7. So please consider joining my channel. But let's get to those custom ISO. Right, that brings us to our first custom ISO, which is Windows X Lite 10 Optimum. I just installed it. As you can see, I haven't even installed any programs just as of yet, with the exception of obviously OVS to record the, uh, my screen. I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like and how light it is when you initially install it. So, yeah, if you go to File Explorer, it's it's based on Windows 10, but the, it's got a Windows 11 theme, which is very, very cool. Um, and then furthermore, guys, uh, when you install this, initially it's going to take up to between 4 and 5 gigabytes of space, which is super light. Um, I've actually I've got a 60 gig partition. I've got just under 10 gigs free here, but it's because my virtual memory is just over 3 gigs. So as you guys can see, it's between 4 and 5 gigs, super light when you install it. Um, it's got like an open shell slash Windows 7 looking start menu. Um, X-Lite tools, very cool, it comes pre-installed with an error tweaker, which in my books is a big win. So it's going to make my install a lot quicker. And you can just toggle on and off Windows Firewall, Print Spooler, so you can save a bit of RAM there if you don't use a printer. And then Windows Update, you can toggle on and off, which I'm going to go through just now, just so I can set up the system and then compare performance apples to apples. But let me get to that. And then just lastly, before I optimize, um, yeah, there's an extras file, desktop shortcuts, yeah, you enable virtual memory because initially virtual memory is disabled. Um, anything else to look in there? No. Enable printing, you can switch on printing over here. Virtual memory, yeah, you just enable virtual memory there. I don't actually recommend you disable virtual memory and run your system like that. You're going to experience blue screens of death every now and then. Uh, UAC on and off, that's great. I don't like UAC guides. It's just going to show you what to do. Microsoft Store Installer. Obviously, when you install your NVIDIA driver, you want the NVIDIA control panel, so you're going to have to install Store. Um, and then, yeah, it's just Windows X Lite. Uh, the, uh, some information there, and then the wallpapers. I think I'm going to use this one over here. Yeah, guys, but it looks super clean and it's it's actually a very nice looking operating system. So what I'm going to do in the meantime, I'm just going to install all the things and then I'm going to do my benchmarks. But just to show you quickly, I'm going to open up the task manager. Obviously, I'm using OBS, so it's not a true reflection of how things are. But even though I've got OBS open, um, you can see the Windows process is quite low. Background process is nothing to go by now. Because obviously I haven't installed any programs. Um, but guys, this is super clean. So there you can see, as I installed, only 42 processes initially, taking up 1.1 gigs of RAM. Uh, yeah, 1.1, 1.2 gigs of RAM. And then the processes, as you can see, stock standard when you install is background processes 7. Initially, it's only got 33 Windows processes. 
But anyways, what I'm going to do is I'm going to install and then I'm going to show you the rest of the video. Right, so I just finished my Windows updates. I did a couple of extra optimizations in services as well as just through Windows settings. Um, I did not install or I'm not going to run a benchmark on The Last of Us and Uncharted because if I did that for every ISO, every time it's going to take me two additional hours. So I'm only benchmarking six games per ISO. And for Windows X Lite, 10 optimum. A little bit of a mixed bag. I was a little bit disappointed, to be honest. Uh, Spider-Man Remastered performed very well. Uh, got quite nice high average FPS. And then also the 1% lows are good. Um, for Horizon Zero Dawn, this is actually the highest 1% low I've gotten on any operating system in any in all my time of testing but everything else is either the same or a little bit less than opt uh, than just to optimize windows so guys it's very lightweight it looks nice it functions nicely i don't know in terms of longevity how convenient it's going to be for drivers etc but if you want to just install this on the side as a little gaming iso can't go wrong Upon installing Kernel OS, you're greeted by insane wallpaper. I must say, I like the theme of it. It looks pretty cool. One thing I'm not a giant fan of, you guys might differ, but I don't really like OpenShell. I prefer um, the menu that you got, or the start menu that you got with Windows X Lite. But that's just personal preference. I'll just go through all these things here. Another cool thing is you got a post install folder over here where you can install a browser, tools and apps, custom resolution utility, which isn't really that stable. Snappy driver installer, a couple of other things in there. Troubleshooting is very cool. You got some scripts with some batch files, uh, some ethernet drivers, which is very convenient. Tweaking, um, you got Windows 32 priority, um, reg edit settings. Uh, auto runs which is great uh, to reduce uh, things that just run automatically um, yeah and I see in sudo so you can actually create your own little um, services script which can be quite dangerous um, yeah but it, it looks very good in terms of the task manager so you got six background processes and 30 windows processes straight off the bat Obviously, I'm using OBS and I haven't installed any drivers or anything just as of yet. So this is killing my CPU. Um, just to show you what it looks like with uh, straight after the install, um, but without OBS. Background process is 6, Windows process is 29. Pretty good. CPU utilization, obviously on zero. 37 processes as we saw earlier, great. And then memory usage. It's uh, without anything installed and no updates or anything like that. It's 1.1 gigs. There it's spiked to 1.2. Um, and then just in terms of how much space it occupies straight off the bat. So my partition is 60 gigabytes big. Um, as you can remember from Windows X Lite 10, it was taking about 4 to 5 gigabytes of space. This one's taking about 20 gigabytes. So it's a little bit bigger. But we'll see what it becomes once we finish our, our updates and installing all these files and folders. But at that guys, let me update my windows, let me do some benchmarks and I'll get back to you. Right guys, after installing all my programs and updating the integrated graphics, I did my benchmark and as you can see, via OBS there's no picture. This can be fixed, but at this point in time, this this operating system is actually just such a pain in the ass and the performance is worse. So I actually wouldn't recommend Kernel OS because I'm just going to give you a quick little rundown. Over six games, the average FPS per game was 72.5. The average 1% low is 51.5. And then when you work out the stability of that, it's 71.03. So this is by far the, the worst, op, uh, worst performing operating system. It's much worse than just optimizing Windows yourself. So 
onto the next operating system. So I just installed RevOS. It looks pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. Um, it's quite simple, but quite impactful. It's got its own little look to it. I like the fact that they pre-installed Brave Browser. I've never used it actually before. So it's gonna be quite interesting to just have a look at that. It's got like a little re revision tool. And it's basically uh, like, you know, from Windows settings, just the important stuff. So Windows Defender, you can switch it on and off, user account control. I'm definitely going to switch that off. Spectre and Meltdown mitigation, that's pretty cool. Um, usability. It's all basically all the things that you would disable in the Windows settings, all just all just in one nice neat little folder. Um, Windows updates. Obviously, I'm going to update Windows so I can compare apples with apples just now, which is a big bonus because with kernel OS, Windows updates not that straightforward oh wait you can't update windows um miscellaneous yeah so it's it's like basically like a nice collection of shortcuts um then the start menu is back to the basics that i like a little bit more looks a bit a little bit more like windows 10 um obviously i've just installed obs so i can record the screen here but as you can see it's not not much bloat let's go to apps yeah very bare bones I've yeah I've gone through most of these settings uh, the wind uh, it is pretty optimized so obviously once I do updates it's gonna have a couple of things to work at but in terms of when you install the ISO uh, processes are as follows um, obviously I'm oh no no um, the background process of 14 I think because it's got an operating system pre-installed, so it's got a couple of extra background processes, but you can see Windows processes is pretty much the same, only using 7% memory. CPU usage, as one would expect, is pretty much non-existent. And then RAM usage, straight off the bat, it is 1.2, which is the highest so far, but Obviously, it already has an operating uh, um, uh, browser installed, so I think that could, uh, could be accounting for the difference. And then, in terms of the size, so I, for each of these operating systems, I've been uh, making a partition of 60 gigs, and as you can see, there's just about 47 gigs available. Yeah, so this is about 14 15 gigabytes of space, which is Bigger than uh, Windows X Lite, but smaller than the one I don't recommend, Kernel OS. Right, so I finished setting up and updating Windows, and then I ran through my benchmarks. Um, and as before, all my games are tested at medium settings, with the exception of Returnal, that's on low. I use FSR 2.0 or 2.1 on quality, except for Returnal, I put that on balanced. And then, um, yeah, I was using the latest driver. So for Revio OS, over the six games, my total FPS is 440 divided by six, and it gives me an average FPS per game of 73.33. Pretty decent. Um, and But the 1% lows is a bit of a mixed bag. Uh, for Spider-Man, it's a very good uh, result. 47 on my 1% lows, which is pretty much as high as it gets. Uh, in my testing over various platforms and then God of War was equal if not better than my previous results uh, on any of my operating systems so God of War and Spider-Man Remastered were very good everything else was pretty much slightly below or just slap bang on average so yeah unfortunately the 1% lows aren't great except for Spider-Man Remastered and God of War. So what I'm actually starting to notice, guys, is if you like me and you play open world, third person, single player games, I wouldn't really recommend a, a custom ISO, unless you just like setting it up and you know, like the theme. But if you're looking for more performance and you play single player games, I don't really know if a custom ISO is the way to go. Whereas, I don't have any multiplayer or FPS games to test this on. 
I have a sneaking suspicion that you actually will get more benefit if you play FPS games which are online multiplayer because obviously that's more CPU heavy but in the type of games that I play I'd actually say to stick to Windows and optimize oh wait watch my videos and I'll teach you how to optimize other than that guys thank you so much for watching it's people like you enjoy the rest of your day oh by the way if you enjoyed this video smash that like button if you haven't subscribed yet come on do it cheers mm -hmm.